Hey guys, Charmy's Idris here, and today I'm going to show you my teeny tiny studio. Stay tuned. Alright, so we're going to start at Command Central, which is really not Command Central because I don't do any work here. <laughs> I really just uh, work out of my bed if I'm not creating. So there's little Charmise because I just love that picture and it keeps me going because I can't let her down. Here is my first dollar that I've ever made from Charmed Bath and Body. A uh, candle that one of my uh, students got me when I used to teach dance. Fun fact, I used to teach dance. <laughs> and then some other random stuff, business cards, failed lip gloss attempts, stuff like that. Uh, my computers, label maker, just random paper that I haven't put in a spot yet, so it stays right there. Uh, paper shredder, that's really just for when people send me credit card stuff, and I just have to shred it. So for household use, really. Um, here's where I keep my labels right here. So they're all labeled in file folders, and then there's some other important documents for Charmed in there as well. And this is what I used to cut them out because I usually print them myself, so I have to cut them out myself. It's cheaper that way for now. Here's my printer. Uh, this is the only printer I have. I don't have like a thermal uh, shipping label printer. All my shipping labels are here, and I just print them out and peel them off the paper. This is the easiest thing for me right now because that printer is perfect. Here is a bunch of crap, basically. So I, uh, for my DIYs and stuff, I need shrink wrap and random boxes and containers. So that's where it goes. Not cute, but it's useful. Um, and then just random stuff up there. And then here is where I keep uh, boxes. Usually it's like this high. Um, so these are the boxes that I just get in that week and I haven't had a chance to open yet. This is my bag that I take to work. I'm gonna work on Charmed. And this is probably what you clicked on the video for. This is my soap room. It's actually just our sunroom, but I needed an area because I couldn't keep doing it at the kitchen counter. <laughs> so first we'll start off over here where my little motivation board is. I usually just keep that on there. Um, there's me and my boyfriend's so failed lotion attempt right there. And here's some binders. So here is where, um, I need to check stuff off if I need to order it, my order forms and stuff like that. And then here's my recipes and then just some other random notes that I just come up with when I'm at work. And then this whole thing right here is where I keep my finished products and stuff that I just wanna give away. So I keep oils here, rosehip, argan, and uh, castor oil. I think we have soap dishes in there, mask, which I need to restock because I have no rose clay mask. And then soap stays in here, all the soap boxes and stuff like that. Um, this is where I have some clearance stuff. So I have these mask kits from my old branding, some jars that I couldn't fit anywhere else. Uh, the toners right there. What's in here? Oh, some other products that I was just trying out. Some clearance candles here. Let's see what's in here. Oh, lip balms and bath salt tubes. I keep my lip balms inside of a box because they tend to get away from me. Oh, body butters are in here. This is stuff that I just, uh, I can give away. So if somebody comes over and wants a freebie or something, or I just like somebody so much, I just give them something out of there because those are DIYs and stuff that may have been chipped or something. And then here's some clearance fragrance um, oil car diffusers. I think that's it over here. Oh, I have my apron hanging up. I usually have some bags hanging up up there. And then this is where I keep the big old um, bubble wrap and stuff like that because I get it from Amazon and I don't wanna throw it away. So I just reuse it. So here is where I do most of the work for my business here on this stainless steel table right here. I knew I was gonna have to get a stainless steel one day, so I just went ahead and got it now. I have a scale because I use that for shipping and creating. So it's one of the most important tools for me. Poster board to photograph on, I put some contact paper on this, and that's what you'll see most of my um, products photographed on. And then just some regular white. Self-explanatory. Um, here is some bath salt 
I started selling it in bulk tubes now, so I had to have it in bulk so I wouldn't have to make it every time. Uh, some Dead Sea Salt back there, some extra Dead Sea Salt that I couldn't fit on the shelf. Uh, distilled water. Let's see what we have in this one. Here is the extra ingredients I like to um, order in bulk. So here's the leftover that I can't fit on the shelf. Clays and salts, mostly. In this bottom one, we have photographing stuff. So leaves, trays, bowls, stuff you might see in my DIYs or photography. So on this shelf we have uh, stainless steel mixing bowls, Pyrex bowls, glass mixing bowls, random containers just in case, uh, measuring cup, beakers, just stuff that I use to mix or test stuff with. Some airheads because I just started putting that in my packages when I ship. And then my three regular types of um, packaging envelopes. They're all my brand color. I think they all come from the same people because they're all like exactly the same color. But I get those off of Amazon. So up here I have a clock because if I check the time on my phone, then I'll end up going to Facebook or Instagram. So yeah. <laughs> Here's um, my shipping map. So I only have seven more states to ship to and I'll have shipped to the whole United States and I'll put a world map up there next because I think I've already shipped to um, New, Z yeah, New Zealand and Australia. Here is the newest feature. Well, the whole thing is new, the whole room because I just, I've only had it for about a month, but I just put this up yesterday, so it's the newest. Uh, hang on my spatulas here because you know you gotta have some good spatulas handy. Take post-it notes. These, I put these in my, um, packages when I ship along with a business card gotta have my favorite pens on hand um, just something to wipe stuff up with so directly under that shelf I have some failed lotion attempts <laughs> sample a soap that I send out and some lip balm that I send out sometimes and then more soap I just don't have this labeled some envelopes just in case I run out someday and these are some old ones I used to have so I just kept them bubble wrap and these are the ones I put the mask in so I just have to peel that off and ship it out uh, mascara wands lip gloss other random stuff shrink wrap popsicle sticks nothing nothing mica i don't really use mica much oh and there's some cbd powder um i think i'm gonna do a diy with that but yeah i don't really use mica much oh and titanium dioxide is down there too and then some bags mesh and canvas bags and oh this is what i used to ship with my body butter in the summer so it can stay cool at least for 48 hours right here my tape gun and then my bleach water for when I have to disinfect stuff let's start from back here all right this is my little tray I just move it around really because it's just in the way I kind of have big hips and I hit it a lot but this is the essential oils that I usually use and some vitamin E oil my gloves my mask some cups some mixers alcohol spray which is not really 50% it's 99% but I just keep refilling the same thing this one's kind of empty right now because there's a lot of stuff in the wash but funnels my little um I guess it's called a milk frother or something I don't know stick blender another stick blender back there because that's my old one I keep it just in case um, glue gun heat gun and then the hand mixer stuff right here and these are things that I kind of need almost every time I'm in here so I just keep it on the cart and then here's the big boy right here oh can't forget about this this is my calendar for the week this is the stuff that I have to do I don't really do anything on Fridays because I run another business and have a full-time job so I have to take a break on Fridays 
All right, so since I'm in a sunroom and there's windows, and I usually like to keep the windows open except for this one right here, um, I don't want this stuff to go bad quicker than it needs to. So I usually keep this curtain up right here. It's a blackout curtain. So I just keep this up so that they won't be directly in the sunlight. Okay, so let's start at the top. Up here I have a bunch of soap molds just because in the beginning I could not figure out how I wanted to do the soap. Um, and I have a bunch more in the garage. Here's a soap cutter. This is the, all the containers I use to make soap. Um, a ceiling thing for you when I used to make um, bath bombs and I'd have to seal the shrink wrap. And then a dehumidifier, just a small one for the bath bombs too. And I think that it for up here. Yep. And then this is where I don't make that many soaps. I only make four different types of soaps, so I don't need a whole big old thing to um, have my soap curing on. So this is the shelf that I let the soaps cure on. And then here's a bunch of random fragrances. I don't really use fragrance oil that much anymore but I used to, so here's some free ones that I got and then some ones that I bought. So I really just use that for the DIYs because I typically use essential oil now. Sodium lactate for the soap and then I have some lye back here, three of them. On this shelf I mostly have dry ingredients, so here's the clays, all the clays that I use. Um, like I said earlier, I do start using these bulk ones down here and then I get to these so I know if something's out up here then I'm just out of it totally. So there's all the clays that I use and green tea powders and stuff like that. And then here's like the additives, colloidal oatmeal and turmeric and stuff. So yeah, chamomile, charcoal. I'm out of black salt because I don't have it anywhere so I have to order that. Pink salt, which I have a bunch of somewhere else, Epsom salt, and then just other random stuff back there. Baking soda, citric acid, stuff I typically use for bath bomb DIYs, which I think I'm about to put out an oatmeal one, so check that one out too. So on this shelf here I have, well, first I have my um, safety glasses, and then I have this spray bottle of water, which I don't use much, but just in case I need it, it's there. Then I have these flower petals, and these are for um, the bath salt tubes. And then I have some stuff for DIYs back here. I don't use this type of witch hazel for my face, but I do use it for the bath bomb DIYs. I have some um, overstock uh, clay masks. So whenever I make clay masks and I run out of jars, I just put it in this big mason jar for next time. Then I have my waxes right here. I always say this one wrong, so I'm just not gonna say it, but you read it. <laughs> and then I have beeswax, and that's for DIYs because I don't use beeswax in my products. Um, emulsifying wax, and then some rose water. I just use that as an additive sometimes. And then I have a bunch of oils, uh, castor oil, sweet almond oil. I think I have fractionated uh, oil and vegetable glycerin right here. Just random stuff back right there for when I need to add it to something else. Here are my butters and then coconut oil. So I use two different types of coconut oil. This is for lip balms because it's 92 degree. Because I know a lot of people have their lip balms sitting in their cars. And then here's just some random coconut oil for other things like body butters and stuff like that. Um, we have shea butter here, coconut butter, sorry, <laughs> cocoa butter. Uh, cocoa butter deodorized back here and then mango butter here all right and this is my bulk shelf right here so I have olive oils turmeric uh, the KOH flakes for liquid soap which I'll probably be bringing back soon I mean much better and then castor oil back there just because I use castor oil so much in DIYs and in my regular stuff. Vegetable glycerin, uh, pink salt, grapeseed oil which is like my favorite oil <laughs> if you haven't seen my DIYs. Tubes, pipettes, um, 
bottles and then I think those are clear bottles over there all right down here this is where I keep all the bottles that I use bottles and jars down here and then I use these for when I have to ship out something big or something heavy so I use flat rate shipping boxes and um, padded envelopes and I think that's everything so that is my tiny studio tour and if you have any suggestions on how I can um, store things better please drop them in the comments below but one thing is I will not be putting up like floating shelves and stuff I did think about that but I live in an apartment and I need that security deposit back so won't be doing that and I also know that I will have to um, change things around for the summer because South Carolina is hot as hell so I'm gonna have to store the oils in probably like a mini fridge or somewhere that's not just straight open to the heat <laughs> so um, I don't know where I put the mini fridge but whatever these are my humble beginnings and I am so blessed to have this little space but I do know that one day I'll be able to bring you another studio tour and it'll be much bigger much better space but for now this is all I need because I'm just one person and for the most part I can fit in here sometimes my hips like to knock into things but that's fine for now um, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching and hit that uh, like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so that you can see my next video.